Welcome to Jupiter. Three words to spark a mix of joy and relief. It was 3.53 GMT and scientists at the NASA Center in California celebrated confirmation of the arrival of Juno at Jupiter. 48 minutes earlier, the probe had sent the signal that it had arrived. These are the first images captured by the onboard camera during 17 days of its journey to the giant gas planet. The probe will spend the next three months getting into position to begin studying what lies beneath Jupiter's thick clouds and mapping the planet's gargantuan magnetic fields. The Galilean moons going around Jupiter, and each one is going around at a different speed based on its distance away from the planet. I mean, this is the king of our solar system and its disciples going around it. I mean, this is, I mean it, it's also representative of nature. This is how we look. That's a mini solar system. Five with Juno, on a trek. Juno blasted off from Cape Canaveral almost five years ago, becoming the second spacecraft to go to Jupiter after the NASA probe Galileo. After a 2.7 billion kilometer trek through space, the 3.6 ton spacecraft, which is powered by solar energy, should be in position for its first close-up images of Jupiter at the end of August, when its instruments will be turned on for a test run. At the start of October, it's planned the probe will fly in egg-shaped orbits, each one lasting 14 days. Its instruments will start to measure how much water is in the atmosphere. That's a key yardstick in working out how far away from the Sun the planet was formed. It's hoped Juno will reveal many other facts about Jupiter, which have remained an enigma. Scientists are really excited about the Juno mission because of the orbit. The fact is, it's going to fly down really quite close to the surface of this gas giant, and that's going to help us to understand what's inside. At the moment, we don't know. Does it have a rocky core, or is it gas all the way through? If we can understand Jupiter, we're going to get to understand our solar system, because this planet was formed only about three or four million years after the Sun, and so it's one of the oldest objects in the solar system. In all, it's hoped the spacecraft will make 37 orbits around the planet and is expected to stay for 20 months. It will not return to Earth, and on its final orbit, Juno will dive into Jupiter's atmosphere, where it will be crushed and vaporized.